Hi, I'm Maeve. I'm a high school sophomore from New York City, and recently it feels as if a lot of the world's important issues are taking a back seat during the COVID-19 pandemic. For example, the US presidential election rarely passes through my newsfeed anymore when it used to dominate it. I write for the school newspaper, and our recent edition was all about coronavirus, every single article. However, when we do emerge from this, when quarantine is lifted, when a vaccine is discovered, when we're finally able to return to school and our normal lives, the same problems that existed in our society before the COVID-19 pandemic exist after it, and they'll need solving. This includes climate change. Recent media coverage of climate change has been positive. The canals in Venice are clearing up, animals are repopulating cities and towns, emissions in China went down 25% after the country closed to combat coronavirus. In New York City, carbon monoxide emissions went down 50% in the month of March alone, largely because people aren't using their cars to commute anymore. My family can attest to that. Our car is sitting up the block right now in the same spot that it's been for the past five to six weeks. We haven't used it at all. This drop in emissions follows historical precedent. Whenever the economy recesses, emissions drop also, largely because travel has stopped or industrial production is down. Uh, we saw this in the 2008 financial crisis when emissions dropped by 3%. Carbon Brief, a research organization, predicts that emissions in 2020 will drop by a large number, 5.5%. However, if we're following that same historical precedent, that means when the economy bounces back, emissions will also. The same thing happened in the 2008 financial crisis and the same thing might happen after the might happen after the COVID-19 pandemic ends. This means that after the pandemic does end, there'll be a lot of pressure to maintain these positive changes that we're seeing right now. I personally believe that in the long term, climate change activism will undergo a lot of changes. After all, this pandemic has brought to the spotlight the impact of travel on the climate. It will likely bring about new calls by climate change activists to reduce travel, which in turn will renew and complicate the debate on which is more, res which is more responsible for climate change, an individual's carbon footprints or a corporation's. Aviation, after all, accounts for only 2.5% of global emissions. There's also the economy and governments. In an attempt to recover their economies, countries like China or the US might relax environmental supervisions of companies, allowing them to emit more harmful gases and pollution into the environment. China did this in 2008. However, government rebuild of the economy might be positive if money and resources are funneled towards clean energy projects that would stimulate the economy and provide jobs while contributing to a healthier earth. Hopefully, global governments will choose the latter option. The positive changes we're experiencing should not be a temporary phenomenon, an anomaly in the system. They should be the new normal. Thank you.